Hey guys, this is Achilles from Achilles Gaming, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a Minecraft Bucket 1.5.2 server. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up your web browser. I'm going to wait for it to load up, and then I'll tell you what to do next. Alright, now that it's loaded up, you're going to want to go to dl.bucket.org. And you're going to download the beta build 1.5.2 RO.1. I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to do it again. After that, go to go back to Google. <clears throat> you're going to type in JRE space 7, and it will be the first link right here. So once you have, uh, once you've gotten here, it's going to make, it's going to ask you to accept our license agreement before you can download any of their software. So go ahead and just click accept. And if you're running a 32-bit operating system, you're going to want to go with the times 86 offline. If you're running a 64-bit, you're going to want to go with the times 64. Now to find out what operating system you have, go to start, right-click computer, and click properties. Once this window pops up, go to system type, and it should tell you if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit. I have a 64-bit, so I would download the times 64. Now I already have this installed, so we're actually going to go ahead and minimize this. You're going to want to right click and create a new folder and you can name it my server, Minecraft server, or server. doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to go to my downloads and drag out my craft bucket real quick. Alright, now you're going to go ahead and drag the craft bucket in there. And you're going to create a text document. And we're going to go ahead and open that up real quick. And then we're going to go back to the internet and go to Google. And you're going to want to type in... Um, bucket wiki now I'll, I'll leave all the description I'll leave all the videos in the description so you, that way you don't have to worry about typing all this in and then once you're here if you're running Windows you're gonna wanna copy this right here if you're running Linksys you're gonna want to get this and if you're running Mac you want this one so since I'm running Windows I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and you can copy that by holding down control C and you can paste it by holding down control V alright now you're gonna to want to go to file save as save it as start.bat and save as type you want to do all files and make sure that the encoding is ANSI alright you can actually you can exit out of that now you can delete that text document you're gonna right click start.bat and click edit now what you're going to do with this is you're going to highlight only craft bucket. Don't delete the dot jar. Go ahead and we're going to minimize that now. And then you're going to rename, or you're not going to rename, but you're going to copy this one. So do control C again. Come back to the notepad. And you're going to do control V. Now leave everything else in here alone. So now you can just save it. And go ahead and start up the server. Now as you'll see, it's going to load up all the stuff, that, like the achievements, and it's going to load up the worlds, and in, this, in the folder, it's going to start loading up all the necessary um, files you need, like plugins and the world and all that stuff. Alright, now I'll explain what to do next after, um, actually, you know what, I'll just go ahead and say that if you're going to be running a non-paid dedicated server, you're going to want to put this right here, this uh, this server on a different computer, and you're going to want to run this on a different computer while you're playing Minecraft, so that way you're not experiencing any lag or anything from um, from the server or from the client. So, so you'll be good to go if you put it on another computer, and then all you have to do is port forward it to be able to play with other people online. So this is almost set up, so... And then I'm going to open up Minecraft and show you that it works okay. Well, now it's actually done, so go ahead and minimize that and open up Minecraft. Alright, go ahead and log in. This may take a while to load this Mojang sign. Loading screen. <laughs> All 
Alright, go ahead and click multiplayer. Alright, and go ahead and click add server. And you can you can actually just for the server address you can either type in your IP address in Google by typing what's my IP and then it'll tell you and you use that IP to connect to the server or you can or you can just do local host and you can give that IP that you find out that you found out on Google to uh, the people who want to play on your server but keep in mind see look now see now it works but keep in mind that you have to port forward in order to play with other people otherwise it's not gonna work then you're just you'll be the only one playing well I'm just gonna show you that it actually loads the world and that it's working give it a minute that'll load All right. Looks like I spawned in the water there. Well, as you can see, you know, this is where you, you know, the server works. So, you know, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up and a uh, subscribe and comment on, you know, what other tutorials I should do. Um, if you subscribe, it'll help me. You know, want to help you guys a lot better. Like next time, I'll be doing plugins and all that. So, please like and subscribe the video, guys. See you next time.